Why is that so hot in here? It's cooler in here. It's very hot today. You want to talk about last night for a second? Yeah. So our cabana is awesome. It's amazing. But we love everything. Yeah. It's amazing. When we first, the first day we got there, there was just a fan and it was great. Like you just stood in front of the fan and when as we slept. As long as the fan was on you. You were great. Totally fine. And then first, the second day, they installed air conditioning while we were here. And, and we then, were like, oh, and then I was this cold. is amazing. But then last night was our third night and it the started power went good. out. Yeah, but the power went out at 2 a.m. And Which it means like immediately no got AC. so hot and sweaty. And when it's hot and sweaty in a room that has holes everywhere, you the bugs come in. And I got like, I got destroyed by mosquitoes. I think. This is the first time in our, our life together you got bit more than I did. Yeah, I think I got, I, I had seven mosquito bites on my right foot this morning. It was that bad. But today's a new day. <sighs> we are still in a beautiful paradise. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go swim in some cenotes. But right now we're gonna eat coffee. All right, time to eat the grocery store. We stock on ice and beer. And then we get some donuts again. Uh, we've been terrible about vlogging today. We've pretty much had like another super chill day. We have a new house though. Yeah, we have a new house. We'll do a tour maybe tomorrow of that. Uh, but right now the property, again, because they're only kind of half open, uh, the property is on an inspection. So we have to leave for a couple hours and we're gonna go to a cenote. Oh, and lunch. Burrito Amor. Look at this yard. It's like, give a sneak peek. This is, this is the new villa sneak peek. Bathroom stuff up there, house there, pool out front. We'll show you more tomorrow. What? Don't ask. Did you forget your shoes? You need shoes. You got no shoes. No. Hey, go get your shoes. The coolest thing about staying in a place that isn't open yet is that no one else has been here. Like this isn't one of the places where everyone's Instagram photos or anything like that. Like this place is, is totally fresh. It's been us and one other couple and that's it. Uh, that's awesome. That's, look how cool this thing is. Oh yeah. I feel like we should have more things like that in the States, like cruising around San Diego, we should have that. Oh, hey there. I'm worried. What? No one's working on the generator. Yeah. That is concerning. Uh, we uh, we still don't have power in our in our new cabana, but they said it was gonna get fixed today. Oh, hot air coming out. Ew. They said it was gonna be fixed. Like, no one's working like on it. Like four hours ago. But, you know. Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> so one thing that we've learned really quickly is that anything that's down by the beach in Tulum is super expensive. Anything that is up here in town is much more reasonable. It's like where the locals hang out, is in town. So, uh, we last night went to this place called Tres Galeones, which was really good. But we saw, like even in Tres Galeones, it was like all gringos, all white people. And we came, ugh. when we were parking there last night, we saw this other place that we've heard of online. You know what it's called? No. Nah, we'll see. But it was all locals. And it was great. And we were like, we gotta eat there. That's the place to eat. That's where we're going for lunch. And they're singing already. Mm. 
because we ate them that fast. But this place is freaking bomb. That was the best taco place we've had so far. Uh, it was. It's the best meal we've had, pardon me. Internet cafe real quick and then cenote. We think, we hope. Nice meeting you. Seeing you today, right? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, Babel Cafe, best Wi-Fi in Tulum. Uh, but I did have to do a bunch of work, and now it's five o'clock, and cenotes are closed. So no cenotes again today. We really but failed in this whole cenote thing. Let's walk that way. What if we walk around here a little bit? We'll cruise town, and then we'll go do a new cabana tour because we moved cabanas that's if we have a if it's still sunny yeah and if we have if not this power. might just be us walking around oh yeah there's still no power no ah well we'll find out <laughs> Ooh, they are not messing around morgan liked that little purse and he was like Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. No way. Huh? Let's go find ice cream. Ice cream? <gasps> Wait, it was up there. Remember? The yeah. creamery? It was over there. No, it was the taco shop here. Yeah, it was right by the taco shop. So it's up there. You want ice cream for real? Yeah. Ice cream was a good idea. Ice cream was a great idea. It's really hot today, and that was amazing. What was it called? Campanella? Campanella. <laughs> Bless you. I think we got time for a cabana tour. Yeah? Let's go back and do a cabana tour. Okay. Uh, cabana tour. Number two. Part two. Number two. Part two? Yeah, whatever. Cabana tour 2.0. Ah. <laughs> So we park right next to the generator, right there. It's not on right now. So that might mean that we don't have power again tonight. We have to. That would be rough. Okay, so very little, nah, there you go. Very little is going to plan right now. Uh, we got back to the cabana and Weird. Power is still not on, which means we have no AC tonight. We have no fan. Lights. We have no lights. So pretty much in like 30 minutes when the sun goes down, it's, it's just going to be, be pitch black. Pitch black, middle of the jungle, and we have nothing. Uh, we've so, had lamps, but yeah, we've had lamps. Hey, how are you? Hey, question. Good. Good. Okay, so that was kind of good news. So we just talked to Ricardo, who's one of the guys that helps here and works here. Uh, he says that the generator will be on soon, so that we'll have lights and a fan, but no AC. So it'll be hot, full of a fan. With a fan. That's enough. Which means that <sighs> the bugs won't be as bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do a tour of the outside. Once you the probably come on, won't be able to see the inside, but. But when we turn, when the lights come on, we can do a tour. Yeah. Uh, so quick update to our situation. The generator did not come back on. They didn't get it fixed today. Uh, so there's no lights in the middle of the jungle. And there's no fan. So we're gonna be hot. Are you gonna 
Uh, so we came to the grocery store. Oh, by the way, we're the only ones staying at this resort in the jungle with no light. Uh, so now we're looking for flashlights at the grocery store so that we can have lights in our cabana. Cabana? We gotta figure that out. How do you say that? Cabana, cabana. How do you say it? Cabana or cabana? Oh, there's rope. I didn't mention one of the most interesting parts of this whole thing. Uh, Morgan is super afraid of the dark. So I we're- I slept the last three nights. So we're getting lots with, of flashlights. With the lights on, I didn't sleep. Mm -mm. So three flashlights. Anything else? <laughs> you think we're sleeping in the jungle tonight or what? This is an adventure. This is kind of what we've been waiting for. Tulum has been great, we've loved it, but we haven't had like a proper adventure yet. You know, there's a saying. This is, we literally asked for this. Yeah, we kind of did because there's the saying that we really appreciate is the adventure doesn't begin until something goes wrong. And when something does go wrong, like that's what the adventure is, like figuring it out and adjusting to it and adapting to it. And this is that. We, keep, we kept complaining that like Tulum wasn't exciting enough. Wasn't exciting enough for us. And now it is. We'll let you know in the morning. <laughs> yeah. We hope we'll let you know. Hope this footage isn't just found somewhere. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. still don't have power the generator it's not working so and now we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do because last night was miserable and I don't think David could do it again he got eaten alive and it was really hot um, but in the meantime I'm gonna show you the area that if we had friends here we'd all be hanging out like the whole time we'd be hanging out right here look be hanging out here. A little table. And back there they had a bonfire. Pretty much like a sweet hangout spot. And I bet David's not gonna use any of this because I'm terrible at it. But we'll see. You're probably gonna want to do your own version. I really tried. 